We're Sid and Shay, and as parents of two young kids, we understand the need to have family-friendly homes. So we renovate and design our clients' houses to function for their growing families. Sid is the mastermind and the muscle. Shay's focused more on the design side and handed over the interaction with the contractors, the on-site construction and demo to me. From downtown! Oh. People are starting to buy homes again and that's been really good for our business. For me, I just really love making a house a home. We're going to meet the Burton family today. They have five kids now. They've adopted two of them and now she's pregnant with their six kids. Really loving that we get to get our hands on the kitchen because that's the heart of the home and they've got lots of mouths to feed. We're the Burtons. We're all about family, having fun together, eating, gathering eating around good meals a table, together. and being as involved as we can in each other's lives. Our neighborhood is a great place. There are lots of kids, lots of restaurants. Yeah. We've got this kids' school within walking distance. A family of five, almost six kids. The center of our home is definitely our kitchen. Our budget for the renovation is $50,000. Our wish list is a more open floor plan, new appliances, and we're excited to get rid of the tile. That is the house right over there, I think. Wow. I've only seen pictures of the inside, but the exterior is great, too. Hey. Hi! You walk in, and I see a 1970s kitchen in a house built in 1995. Let's talk about this island. I have never seen an island quite like this. The shape is pretty crazy, got lots of angles. Oh, I hate all the ang I hate all the angles. <laughs> I don't like weird angles. So I walk into the kitchen and I see this island and it has the most angles I've ever seen on a kitchen island before. What are the things that work for you and what are the things that don't work for you? One of the things that drives me nuts is, as you can see, um, when I go to cook, you know, soup or pasta or whatever, it's really hard to actually stir or oh, yeah. put anything in because of how low this is. Are these burn marks? Yeah. Holy yeah. The amount of space there is not to code. We go into this kitchen, we're looking at some of the issues, and then we see that the stove has literally burnt the wall. Yeah, it's really bad. We obviously need to update the stove. I'm thinking that this microwave is the focal point of the kitchen here. We probably like to change that. Oh, I smell, I smell gas. And as I turn it off, <laughs> I don't want to really kill it. It just yeah. lingers. Okay. Yeah, okay. a little. Is this your pantry over here? This is just kind of a, a random closet. Well, what? This is cute. The heights of our kids. I love on that. The wall. Somehow, I would like to save that in some way. Are those attached bar stools? <laughs> they are attached bar stools, and they wow. happen to be my favorite. They're your favorite. Oh, no. <laughs> Swinging bar stools. Oh, man. Ugh. The bar stools are literally attached to the island. Like on and a they swing, swing around. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. My children and my husband will miss the swinging bar stools. I, however, will not. You will not. <laughs> so thank you. Okay. <laughs> We've also thought about maybe trying to incorporate two dishwashers. If we can change the shape of this island to a big rectangle, we can fit two dishwashers here. I'd really love to knock out this wall, shift the island over, and create a more open space. Move the double ovens to a range in the center to create this beautiful focal point. Bring your refrigerator over here so you can get the large refrigerator that you want. I think we can incorporate all of that. I'm gonna go back to the office and start working on it. Burtons have a $50,000 budget. It sounds like a lot of money, but it does have to be stretched over quite a few different areas. We have to get high-end appliances, take down some walls, do the entry, the kitchen, and the living room. Really excited to take out those ugly cabinets and the island and get things really moving. Hey guys, you ready? Let's do some demo. Well, I'm excited to get those bar stools out. Okay, so I found out that that's not load bearing. We'll be able to rip it out. Get ready to get rid of this. Turns out that this is a load bearing wall. We're gonna have to keep it in here. Well, we're going we're to we're gonna put the refrigerator here. Yeah. And a lot of this is going, but I would love for you to save this door here. So oh I can. yeah, I totally forgot. Okay. But I really can't wait to get rid of this. Yeah. And these bar stools. Oh yeah. Ren was sick. And then she got our newborn sick. We've got sick babies at the house, and I'm gonna run home and take care of them. Tear some stuff up. Sorry, Jed, but these things have got to go. Oh! Downtown! It's 
already opens the place up a lot. Looks good. Having clients in the studio is great. When the clients get to see and touch and feel the samples, it really helps them envision the space. Let's first take a look at the floor plan here. So we've straightened out the island, Ken extended this wall in so that you can get a bigger refrigerator. And on okay. these sides, we have these cabinets that go all the way to the counter. And one thing I'd like to do to break up all the white is put a grass cloth on the oh. back. And then we start okay. to see as you make these selections, how it all comes together and works really nicely. Shay has pulled together so many options all in one sitting, and it would take me hours and hours to go to stores and shop on the internet to try and even come up with a fourth of what she's presented today. Uh, you gotta get that water off. That's that hard water. Uh, I don't think anyone shut the water main off. Shay usually freaks out about this stuff, so what she doesn't know won't hurt her. 